Okay, I've just painted my uh, wing moulds. They don't look very pretty on this side, but hopefully they'll be right when I take them out of the, out of the mould. Um, this is my vacuum pump down here. Um, I've got that hooked up so that I can see my my uh, vacuum gauge on my wall. I've had it sucked down for a little while now. Um, I've got two lines here that come from the pump. I've got them cramped off. Um, the reason why I cramp everything off and leave it sucked down without anything on it is just to make sure that my system hasn't got any leaks in it so I'm not chasing leaks in my bag when it's actually my system that's um, leaking um, at the moment it's holding pressure so um, we'll lay this wing up now okay I'm ready to lay my wing up I've mixed up 150 grams worth of resin because that's how much my all my glass weighs for this side of the wing we'll see how that goes what crap off it. Right, first one, two ounce. It was easy just to roll it up because it's it's just easy to roll out when you put them in the mould. So I like to roll them up. Now I've got everything wet out with a two ounce, I can just push and pull that um, the glass so that it's just down from the edge of my in the front of my mould. It's quite easy to push and pull around because it slides quite well when it's wet. I'll drop my my um, four ounce on there. And so let's roll out and I'll just run over with my, my little laminate again. Carbon fibre. I'll put my first layer of carbon in. Now I'm going to put my Kevlar hinge in. I know we I know the measurements to my to my hinge line, so I'm just gonna put some quick marks on here. Just as a guide to make sure that I get my Kevlar sitting in roughly the right place. I like my tip skin just so it sits inside the edge of the mould. I can see that my Kevlar is just a little bit short here, so we'll push him up a little bit. And he's a little bit short just here too, so we push him up. If I can see Kevlar nicely through the whole slot, where the later ons are going to be cut in, um, that's all good. Okay. Next, carbon toes. Okay. Here's my first lot. There's 10 
200 gram carbon toes. I'm going to drop another 10 in. And my last layer of carbon goes on. Now, as you probably notice, that you can still see where my ailerons are going to go. So I've stopped that carbon short. So I really, over my, I, I don't really carry it through because I know that I've got 200 gram um, Kevlar on there. So the actual, where the hinge is going to be covered, it hasn't really lost any strength. There's, I don't find as much point taking it right over my ailerons because it makes them too thick. Or put another piece across there, but um, I'll show you how I do the other ones when I come to join them together, make them nice and stiff and strong. Now, my last layer of four ounce, which is going to go over the whole lot. some peel ply on. Once you got your peel ply on, my perforated release film on there. This piece has been used several times. Paper towel. Now I'll just grab a piece of um, tacky tape. And I'll put that on, on there. I'll cut another tiny little piece or a piece to go over top of my hose. Bring my hose into my mold. So I'll just bring that so it's just just a little bit back from the edge of my mold. Just wrap that around there a couple of times. Make sure that's going to be sitting away from the edge of my mold, which it is. It's going to be right there. I'll just put a bit of tape on that to hold that in place. No more gaps. So no more gaps on it.
little bit of tight over the top of my pipe. Usually put a crease down into there to start with into my back of my mob because I've got a, um, a trough in the back and it always sucks down there and um, forms a, a leak so I push that loosely down in there to start with. Okay. Let's release my cramp. Start to see the resin coming through my um, paper towel now. That's good, the pumps stop cycling. Cool. Okay, so what I do now after I've got everything sucked down is I give it CRC. Just spray that on there. The reason why I do this is I like to take the end of my scissors and run it around all the edges of the moulds. And if I don't put CRC in there, it heats up the plastic and um, I've got a chance of putting a hole in the bag. So the CRC is just to help it slide. It just helps eliminate any bubbles along this leading edge. And I also like to run it along where my timber ends, just to make sure there's no bubbles trapped in between the timber and the layups. And on the edges of where my aileron cutouts are. That's it. The other side is exactly the same without the Kevlar. Now the other side's all sucked down and looking good. The pump's not cycling. So it's time to call it a night. These have been sucked down overnight and all day. So I'm just going to take them out now. Let's turn me vacuum pump off. Yeah, now we're 
we've got no more gaps all around here, so we're just going to take take that off. I usually, just stick it on top of there. I'm going to pull that off in a minute anyway. And that should just release right off the perforated release film. It usually comes off in pieces. Okay, the next one to come off is my peel ply. I usually try and pull this off flat so I don't lift it out of the mould, lift the skins out of the mould. There we go. Now just with a wet rag, I'm just going to take off any residue of the normal gaps. Now taking a, um, a blade, I'm just going to very carefully trim around the edges of the mould. Now that I've trimmed everything up to the mould, I'm going to put some PVA mould release just around on this edge here. I know my moulds are quite seasoned now so I don't really need to do this but I'd rather do this than have my moulds stick together. I've got everything ready to go. I've um, taken my spars and I've CA'd them into place. They're actually quite firm so they're not going to move around on me um, when I'm putting the wing together. I've got them on there dry so I'm going to wet them up in the mould. I've got all my those um, triangles of leftover carbon from cutting the wing skins out. I've got all them ready to go. Um, you'll see where they go. Um, I've got it sitting on my cramp system. I've got my carbon toes on here. Um, the long ones are going to go into the leading edge. There's um, 20 carbon toes there, 200 gram, and I've got um, carbon toes here that are going to go on the ailerons. They'll make them nice and stiff. I've just wet my carbon toes up, so they're all soaking over there on the bench. And we just wet my spars down. She ain't going to be no DLG. Right, now, all these offcuts of carbon now are going to get put in here. I'll just keep building it up until until I've got them all gone. So before I put my before I put my sprues on, I'll put these in. The carbon ties. I'll just sit them up against that back of that spar there. It just helps add a lot of strength to that. Well, I got my sprues mixed up. It's it's runny, but it it's it's firm but runny is what I would call it. So all we do now is just spoon that into there. We'll run a bead down around my aderons. The gun's broken so I've got to keep pushing the thing down. around the top. Okay. I'll just sit that so it drips into that. Grab me other carbon toes and I'll we'll sit them round from the tip around this way. Grab the other 20 of carbon toes and we'll run it from this tip around the other way. Let's all sit in there. Now 
Now we'll run, I like to run some screws along, along this either on, through here. So that basically just about makes that solid, solid sploosh through here. And with that carbon toe and everything in there, it should make them really nice, rotten solid. Do the same on this one. I'll be getting down, so it's all right. Right, I like to put a bit more in here just to you know, tip. Now my wing bolt comes here, so I'll put some there so we've got something to drill through and have good fixing. Same with the one at the front. I like to try and fill the tips up as much as I can in case it gets cartwheeled, which it will. Whack the top on it. You should feel those marbles drop into place. There she goes. All right, let's get the get it cramped down. There we go. We'll leave that till tomorrow, and we should hopefully have. A wing. Yeah, it's the next day. Let's see if we've got a wing. There we go, we've got one wing ready to have later on to cut in. <laughs>